Lead and I'm a coder and a marketing strategist for the Pet Reminder. I am Inga and I'm the visual designer and the programmer of Pet Reminder. I love pets. I want to own a pet. Having pets makes kids happier, more physically active, and helps decrease the risk of mental issues, including schizophrenia, according to a recent study of 2019. I love fluffy cats, and so I asked my parents to get a cat for me for my birthday, but they said that I'm not responsible enough to own a cat. Having a pet can be too much work. Parents feel like kids do not know how to look after pets. According to the pet owners, there are a few common challenges related to pet ownership. For example, you might need to train your pet how to use the alert box, and you might need to train your dog how to not chase cars. That is why many parents don't want to buy their child a pet. We can change this. Pet Reminder is the first app specifically designed for kids. But it will be really useful for first-time owners, even adults, or any age. We discussed the idea with some actual pet owners to figure out how the ideal product should look like. First of all, the user has to be able to set up the schedule and the pet's profile. The app will notify the owner when it's time for feeding or anything else like going for a stroll. The data should be saved on the cloud so the user will be able to access the information about the pet from different devices. Also, if someone is sitting not his or her own pet, he or she can also access this information. Except for daily routine, it is important to have an option to schedule a healthcare event so for the upcoming two years and to verify with the vet through email. There should be the call your vet button. Also, it is important for a kid to be able to send an SMS to a parent or friend if he or she is unable to make the event. If the owner has more than one pet, he or she has to be able to add them all or at least 20. Some people want to get notifications on smartwatches and synchronize the data with smart colors. Probably the most disturbing feature according to our community survey is that the ideal app must provide personalized recommendations about nutrition, grooming, healthcare, physical activity, and emotional support. Taking into account the breed, the age, the health condition, and some other data, our AI algorithm will offer the best way to take care of your pet. It is the future of the app. For the first version, we decided to create the minimum value product, the app containing only basic functionality. That was not easy. First of all, we had to say the basics of object-oriented programming because we decided to develop our app on Java and Kotlin. We learned how why we can use try catch blocks, how to call functions, and how to pass data between classes. We learned what variables were, and I got to know how to put a value into a variable. Also, we had to cover some basic concepts of object-oriented programming like inheritance and to study some features of the Android framework, like activities and notifications. Of course, we spent much time practicing how, seeing how to build the some user interface and how to upload icons of cats and dogs. So what do we have right now? Now our app allows the user to set up the account for the pet, to fill up the most important data, and to set up the schedule of the most important activities, like lunch, sleep, or walk. Once the schedule is set up, the user will receive the notification on the device when it's time for the next activity. The data is being saved on the device. Also, one can update the information when necessary, so parents can make sure that their kids don't miss any step.